Yo, Vaisant here. Apparently, Amazon Game and Smile Gate have a message to all of us. Uh, this is probably addressing all the the, the ho hopefully honing changes. Uh, if you, didn't, you guys didn't know, Argus got released, and of course, a lot of the people, even the people that play a lot, haven't been able to hit their criteria because of the lack of resources and uh, lower honing rates compared to like all the other version like the Russian version and the Korean version um, so we're gonna read this this is gonna be my reaction I haven't like really looked at this yet I just saw this part this first paragraph <laughs> uh, but I'll read it this part again at least uh, we believe it's almost been a month since Lost Ark launched to Western audiences our team at both Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG have been working tirelessly on stability, combating bots, preparing new content, and much more behind the scenes. We appreciate the support and patience we've seen from players around the world. And before diving into our team update, we'd like to thank millions of heroes who have set foot in Arcasia and join us for the start of this adventure. Yeah, so I'm not even going to edit this. You guys are just going to see me <laughs> talk and read this out. And my reaction, I guess. Speaking of adventure, or at least of international travel, this week we joined by Smilegate RPG in our Seattle office. Okay, so I did read that some in, somewhere in the forums that they, they said they had a Smilegate representative actually in person at their office to like make decisions and stuff, help them make decisions and whatnot. Uh, productive, uniting of forces while we are taking a look at content robot improve operations and tools and continue collaboration on all things related to western release of lost ark we thought this would be a perfect time to also partner on authoring an update to address concerns we've seen in, within the community and share our approach for releasing new content into arcasia western shores and spoiling a few upcoming surprises all roadmap time right <laughs> let's try port right into it okay i, I see what you said there a look behind the curtain, progression, Argos, content roadmap, and skins. Launching Lost Ark in the West has been a wonderful, humbling, and great learning experience for us at Amazon Games and Smilegate RPG. Our journey has been filled with late nights, creative pro problem solving, hopping into Western servers to play together, and now looking ahead at things to come. As we continue to learn from our player feedback and dive into data. Our goal is to remain transparent, sometimes brutally so, with our players. To set the stage, we would like to reiterate some thoughts on progression we shared earlier this month. In other regions, players have stayed in Tier 1 and Tier 2 for a considerable duration, as Tier 3 has not yet been released. In the Western release, Lost Ark launched with Tier 1, 2, and 3 content. The intention is that Tier 1 and 2 will be used as a road for players to understand that the, the many systems in Lost Ark, encouraging players to explore the vast world of Arcasia and learn how intrinsic, intrinsic, intricate <laughs> mechanics within battles play out. The first two tiers are designed as mid-game prologue for the wealth of the endgame tier 3 content that Smilegate RPG has developed since their original launch. As Gold River, Lost Ark Game Director, recommended, you are progressing at your own speed and enjoying horizontal content such as exploration, collectibles, quests, and more alongside your vertical item level progression. A lot of players are currently progressing through one in, tier 1 and tier 2. Some of you are already on tier 3. I'm in tier 3. I have like what, 14, no 1349, that's my item level, 1349. Uh, ready to vanquish end game challenges. Our goal has always been for players to progress at whatever pace they seem fit. The Western version of Lost Ark launched with content at and above item level 1370, which, uh, such as Night Fox, YOLO, and Belganis, Guardians, World Bosses, Pirate Ghost Ship, Chaos Dungeon, oh yeah, like the, the monkey, <laughs> the chameleon. The Abyssal Dungeon Hard Modes in Punica, partially due to fair feedback received in our closed alpha and beta tests. With that important context, let's talk about Argos. We've seen player concern that releasing Argos before a significant portion of the player base had progressed to Tier 3 made Lost Ark feel pay to win. 
We never wanted players to feel rushed to the request to hit 1370. We considered having Argos available at launch, but viewed the Argos raid as an important stepping stone, uh, helping bridge the gap to end game activity that have yet to release in the Western version of Lost Ark. We're looking at you, Legion Raids. Though the lens we wanted to give Argos a spotlight and a special introduction in the Arcasia. Yeah, but then they missed the ball of the stuff between like 1300 to this 1370, right? <laughs> it's, it, uh, it, yeah, it comes to like a slow halt, pretty much. We made a mistake releasing March game update too quickly after launch. Data we analyzed along Smilegate from the previous launches projected that larger portion of players have reached the level required to challenge Argos. However, we overlooked a certain variable such as players spending more time on horizontal content. I've been doing that. I got I got astray already. So, <laughs> and the price of honing materials increasing due to bots and real life transactions. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so all the data they probably got was based on those, really. <laughs> so it kind of skewed the data. These factors contribute to the scarcity of T three honing materials. Together. Our team at Amazon Game and Smilegate are continuing to gather data on play pattern in the Western version to better inform our future content roadmap. We appreciate the patience and support we've seen from the community while we learn together and work on updating our roadmap. I apologize for confusion our early excitement has generated. After analyzing data and listening to player feedback across all our community channels, we believe that an update that helps adventurers progress with content currently in-game is more important than releasing new end-game content. You don't say. <laughs> we'll expand on this below in the honing section. Oh. With that said, players should feel encouraged to progress at whatever pace they're more comfortable with. However, there is still a wealth of end-game content that needs to arrive in Arcasia. End-game content will introduce, but players should continue progressing at their own pace. Our goal is to provide fun content for players even if it's at a higher level while never making players pressured that they need to pay to progress because of the, the lack of honing materials, right? Flexibility has been a driving force in collaboration between our teams as has assuring that players are able to enjoy and play Lost Ark how they seem fit. From adjustment to monetization for the Western version, like ensuring that a side from some account level features, everything can be earned in game to listening to player feedback on content timing. Our goal is to remain flexible. Huh, yeah, okay. I'm hoping, no, I, we'll continue. <laughs> Amazon Games and Smilegate will continue to monitor but feel that Legion Raids, the definite lost art rating experience, should be released after players have acquired enough material to be confident and ready for complicated challenges are waiting. The problem isn't that um, there are raids available too early. The problem is there's no like road to that raid. So you release the raid, but then there's a there's a gorge there, and you need to you need to build the bridge first. <laughs> you need to build the bridge to get to that raid. But there's no material to build that bridge. So what you gonna do? <laughs> Don't worry, more content is still coming soon. That, that word, right? Uh, in the forum, they were talking about how the stuff's going to be coming soon. <laughs> they didn't say how soon. I wish it would be more definite on how soon. Like, maybe a range. It don't have to be a specific date, right? Horizontal content, like new classes, islands, and continent of South Vern were released as planned. That's good. Okay. We share more com comprehensive look into our content roadmap for April and May in the near future after a week of in-studio collaboration has concluded. So pretty much a week from now, we have a roadmap. That's what I take from what they're saying here. All right, now that we discussed our approach to progression and end game content, let's move on to cosmetic skins and advanced classes. As we read in the forums, watch streams, video, check in the Discord, hop in game. We've seen player, we've seen feedback that players would like skins and advanced guys to release at an accelerated rate. These two categories of content are intertwined, which is one of the reasons that speeding up too much is tricky. Is this wait? If the skins and the classes come out, they're intertwined. Just release both of them. Why not? <laughs> Existing skin and career version were released before some classes. Requiring art and development time to rig models with skin for fewer 
newer classes and special weapons that accompany them. Still, we are released. I mean, you just gotta release the ones that are like already there. <laughs> that isn't too bad, um, I have to say. We we'll continue listening to players' feedback about the tempo of their release. Similarly, classes will be released faster. Okay, cool. Our goal is to catch up. As we release more content into the game, we we'll want to add new classes that complement that content. More classes will be available soon and we shared specific into the upcoming roadmap we'll be working on in Smilegate. Technically, you don't need to release content to complement. Just release the classes. They could just be there and the content for that that complemented could just come later. <laughs> People would just want to play their class. <sighs> All right. Economy, bots, and honing materials. Another area of player concern we see around honing is around honing. We know that for every triumph yell as a player succeeds a low percentage hone, there are players frustrated with their fail attempt failing, leaving them without materials to try again. As players focus on their first character, we've seen that the low number of alternate roster char characters to help feed main characters and economy with higher level ma honing materials. There are a lower number of alts, pretty much. A shortage of tier 3 progression materials coupled with problems introduced by bots have made honing materials too expensive and burden for players. To combat this, we will be supplying more progression materials for players to earn through the fun game, fun in-game events, injecting more gold into the mid and end game, and continuing our hard stance against bots. Bots have been a problem. I mean, they're always a problem. Every game, though. Every game. <laughs> Even though we banned them quickly as we could, they kept springing up thanks to the mass ban of bots around the timing of Argo's update and removal of early game gold that attracted them to the first place. We've seen a sleep decline in box acti activity and bot farm gold that used to inflate prices of honing materials. We will continue to take a hard stance against remaining bots to make them inefficient while ensuring an active player can access gold to create a better experience for all. Eject oh, here we go. Ejection of honing materials. In the next week's update, we provide additional Grand Prix honing rewards. So they're going to add more and I guess increase the cap, I'm guessing. Introduce a new casual event guardian raid to supply players with honing materials. Event though, okay. Is, are they gonna stay? Or they... <laughs> this is not like the heroic, right? First off, the first season of PvP is coming. Competitive pro proving grounds. All right. In this event, you can enjoy garden raids in a more casual way. way. Relax, play, and get honing rewards. Similar to Grand Prix, you can enter once a day per roster, and earn event-specific coin to spend. On rewards at a new vendor. The vendor will be found in major cities along the entrance of this new activity. All right. In this event, scale balance is applied to change the character stats to match the guardian's level. But we're gonna get, I'm assuming, the event currency, and then we can buy whatever mats we need. Players were able to challenge Helgia, Frost Helgia, Lumeris, Yurnil, Virtus, Chromian. Narcosina, Dark Lagaros, Icy Argos, Caventas, and Levanto. You, you just witnessed me just botching a lot of the names. <laughs> I mean, I can just go with like Bird, uh, Ice Bird. Which one is Lumerous? Is that one of the, the beasts? And then we got the bear, we got that lizard that with the tail, the turtle, the scorpion, the dark, um, that dark one, that the dark beast. And then the ice beast, and then the tree. No, the tree. Which one's the tree? <laughs> it's been it's been a while since I I fought those. Anyways, this event will last for roughly a month. And okay, so it, there's a time limit. They should just release heroic raids. <laughs> Are they waiting on that? All right. Well, uh, let's see. And players with item level or 250 or above will be able to participate. We iterate the details of this event in next week's update notes, but are excited to spoil the surprise that players look to earn more honing materials. They need it now, though. <laughs> I guess we just gotta be patient and wait, right? All right, here we go. We have some adjustments. We're adding tailoring books and metal books. 
Oh, these are for honing, right? Yeah, the honing ones. To the reward table for players to increase their honing rates. Ah, okay, yeah. I don't mind keeping the rate the same as long as we got more mats to use it on. We're increasing the number of event coins earned to help players get items easier, and we we'll hope that these rewards will help players as they look to progress. Is this happening, like, at this week's reset, and then this, this thing is, like, next week? Anyway, PvP rewards. Now we have a sentence to play more PvP. I've been like waiting for more sentence play PvP, so I've been like not doing it. <laughs> My weeklies has been gathering uh, chaos raids, I mean, chaos dungeons, and then guardian raids pretty much. And then occasional cube or boss rush. For players eagerly awaiting PvP action, Season 1 of Competitive Proving Grounds will release in next week's update. Uh, players will be able to earn a variety of rewards. Including access to early, oh, access early, access to weekly honing materials. We dedic dedicated article announcing more details next week. We'll continue to review player feedback and data around honing materials, rates, and price within the in-game economy. But excited to provide more opportunities for players to gather materials starting this month. So, okay. Huh. Okay. So player feedback. There's still continue to review. Okay, that's typical stuff. <laughs> We know there's a lot to unpack above, and even with the content information, you may have questions, concerns, feedback, and feedback. Our teams at SmileGate, Amazon and SmileGate, will continue to listen to your feedback and work to communicate as openly with you. We sincerely appreciate the enthusiasm, support, and we received in the first month since launch before we wrap up. Uh, if there's one more thing the report system has taught us it that people love gifts <laughs> finally compensation maybe uh, how about com this technically compensation lost art fans around the world celebrating all the new players now join the game they love players in Korea receive gifts to commemorate the western launch of the game and we wanted to everyone to be included oh this is what uh, I think I saw this, uh, a video of Zeo's with the oh here it is the Makoko pet yo oh it looks so good oh, it's better than the cat I have from uh, early Ghost Founder pack. We're grateful for all of you to join us on the start of adventure, and we're excited about the long future ahead. To help you on the journey with us, enjoy a gift full of free cosmetics and useful materials. You received this gift the week of March 21st. Five days? Five days. After our weekly update and maintenance. So new animal skin selection chest? What's that? Oh, this? What the fuck? Hold on. Can I like zoom in? Kind of pixelated. What? <laughs> These look so weird. I don't know. Oh, but I... Okay, the board. The board looks great. Okay, so the pet selection, Mogulcon. I don't know which one I want. Guys, guys, which one are you getting? Which one do you guys think I should get? Like, I, I, I like the blue. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know if I want the hat. But these, the, the frog one looks pretty, pretty nice. Like, I might get this green frog looking one. Um, let me know. Let me know down below. Moko board. Oh, what board do I want then? Oh, this blue one looks cool, or this purple one. Oh, this rainbow. I might get the rainbow because I got gotcha you, player. <laughs> I don't know what to feel about this. I, I do like the pirate hat thing. I think it. I think it's onesies, huh? Lost our united structure. Oh, that's uh for for the stronghold. Appearance change. Oh, you can you can change your face and stuff. Uh, peons. Peons, I don't know how to pronounce it. 132 of them. Malek Tome times 5. Which one is this? I don't remember. Legendary card pack? Oh, shoot. Two legendary cards. Jukebox song that will be provided when jukebox content is releasing. If you, oh, you get a... You get, oh, I, see. I don't know what this is. With such an expansive and complex game, there may be nuances and differences between players in each region. But this is just a start of adventure. Our team and Amazon Games with Smilegate 
and SmileGate will continue to listen to the player and analyze data to find the right time for new endgame content as we try to catch up the Western version to the rest of the world. Thank you for joining us along with the continued enthusiasm and support. Uh, we'll see you in Arcasia. <laughs> Look at this. All right. Not necessarily sexy, but cute, right? Okay, so one thing is... I'm still looking forward to how they're gonna like this is like one step okay so they're using pvp which is like a permanent thing this event thing isn't permanent so hopefully they'll add like heroic heroic raids you know the like the bridge or whatever the bridge is heroic raids heroic abyss dungeons right hopefully they'll start adding that after this but this is at least one thing in there, right? And then this is just, I'm guessing this is like a temporary thing just so they can like start setting those other stuff up. <laughs> Cause of course they need time to develop and then test, okay? Cause I, I work in QA and of course we got to test things, right? <laughs> Automation testing. But yeah, okay, it's it's something. And then they have, it's pretty much like a policy ledger and then they're not a roadmap yet, though. <laughs> Not a complete roadmap of like when to expect stuff. Um, but though it, though it did get leaked, so I guess they said they haven't. They're gonna continue whatever they have scheduled. So that's good. But they should also release the the stuff in between. But yeah, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed me reading this. If you have and um, my thoughts and reactions as I'm reading this. Uh, I do stream on Twitch, so check that out. Uh, I'll have my like socials down below. And let me know what skin you guys are going to get. You're going to pick here from these chests. Um, I don't know which one to pick for this. You guys want to pick for me? You come by to stream and help me pick. Um, I, I kind of I kind of want this rainbow board. But this blue board that looks like speaking space galaxy thing looks cool. Like this purple one too. Makoko, uh, Makoko Khan, I'm not sure. Maybe this green one. This blue one seems cool too. But yeah, with that, later days.